football and Friday nights. Priceless memories for most. But on one East Texas fall night, when football and fear collided. It's just one of the worst feelings I've ever felt in my life. No one could have predicted the outcome. Latewater High School. With Macbeth, they gave him direct this is what's going to happen. In Coach Clark's seventh period advanced English class, they're studying Macbeth. Banquo is going to be a casualty of Macbeth's ambition to become king. And say, Senior Caleb grow, Williams reads not. the part of Banquo. You seem to understand me by each at once her choppy finger laying. It's his favorite class. Ironic that someone who loves being in character at one point had no clue about his own. September 18, 2015, Bladewater at Carthage. Williams having the game of his life in a tight contest. Then a dramatic turn. The collision on this fourth quarter play didn't appear damaging, but the impact, massive. I was nervous, I was anxious, I was scared. And we have an injured player from Gladewater, but he's come to our sidelines. He may be woozy. Then he went back down, and he was out. You know, when I got there, I saw that he wasn't moving. Uh, his eyes weren't open. Unconscious for two or three minutes, and when he came back too. No, oh, I was terrified. I felt alone. But whenever I looked up and opened my eyes, I didn't recognize anybody. The ambulance has arrived now on the track, and uh, looks like they've got an IV started. The next couple of hours were frantic. The local hospital wouldn't admit Caleb, so he had to be care flighted in a chopper like this one to a nearby hospital in Longview. We're going about a 15 minute ETE to your facility with a 17 year old male patient, a high school football player with a suspected closed head injury. I was going in and out of consciousness. He is fully immobilized. Back His parents, unable to accompany him in the helicopter, had to make an excruciating hour long drive just to get back to their ailing son. It was just agonizing. Not, not knowing what was going on. Doctors work quickly to diagnose the extent of his head trauma. Caleb recounts the most telling moment. Whenever they asked me what my name was, I was like, I have no clue. I have no clue what happened, how I got here. And then next thing I know, they're calling me Idaho, Idaho. When trauma patients can't identify themselves, typically they're assigned a color or state name to have something to put in the hospital system. Idaho, Idaho. When I saw that on his arm, wristband, I knew he didn't know who he was. It was just a crazy feeling, like not even knowing your name, just sitting at the hospital with nobody. That night here at Bulldog Stadium in Carthage, they knew it was bad, but no one could have imagined the lasting impact of Caleb's injury. The end of his football career was only the beginning. Because on that night, on this field, not only did Caleb lose the memory of what happened in that game, but every other game he'd ever played every moment with his family, even his junior prom, 17 years of memories, everything he'd ever done and everyone he'd ever met, gone in an instant. I was nervous, I was scared. I didn't wanna play sports ever again. Caleb's support system kicked in. His mother is a nurse, his father works with brain trauma victims. He missed about a month of school while they guided a scary reintroduction into Caleb's own life. But I know it hurts them to know that I don't remember anything about them. I mean, 17 years that I just don't know about my whole family. I, mean, I know that hurts them, it hurts me for them. They told me the uh, two bunny hoops. And you just twist it. But yeah, it was pretty embarrassing. Football's off the table, but his parents made a surprising decision to some. After doctors gave the green light, the Williams allowing their son, who'd been through so much, to return to his first love, basketball. It may not make a lot of sense to the, uh, those outside looking in, but it's our faith. That leap of faith made even greater by this fact. A concussion sustained while playing basketball in 2009 Good. caused Caleb's older brother, Josh, to lose his memory for a year and a half. Don't even worry about it. Put all of it in God's hands. And that's what I do every game. Back to your, uh, back to your starters here.
Caleb's style of play adding another layer of trepidation to his return. He only knows one way, an all-out attack towards the rim. Come game time, nerves get frayed in the stands. Williams with the basketball, he's going to go up with his left hand on a fast break. Here goes Williams, fast break opportunity. Jagger Haney goes up and trying to defend. Caleb may have lost his memory, but his muscle memory is completely intact. There it is, wide open. There's Caleb Williams with a three-point shot there. Caleb Williams kind of high flying there on that fast break. On this night, Caleb puts on his usual show. Seemingly without fear, he repeatedly drives the lane, pouring in 36 points in a blowout win. He's taking a couple of spills. You doing okay? I'm doing okay. He's falling on his back and not his head, so I'm okay with that. Caleb is leading his region in scoring with 31 points per game. His production propelling the Bears to their first district title in 14 years. He's a tough kid. You know, and with me, you know, I'm on his side, and I just want to continue doing what he's doing. Give it back to him? I think it was those prayers at that football field. Good. Back down? That gave me the opportunity to be who I am right now. Caleb still can't remember anything before the hit, but that hasn't slowed him on the road to recovery. Because I know that my memory will come back. I feel it will come back. I mean, my brothers came back a year and a half later. And now he's miles away from Idaho, Idaho. I got faith that it'll still come back, even if anybody else doesn't, I, I know it will.